要说的是这样啊，就是说的不对的，你马上再说一遍，然后把那个说的不对的拿来就完了。Today we're going to have a tea talk, and it's the first video of the Laser in 2022 in Chinese year. So today we're going to talk about the topic: how to choose the right power of your laser source. Do you do you have any questions about this, new customer? Stop! 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 Uh, so today's topic we're going to talk about how to choose the laser source power uh, when you are going to buy a laser source or for laser cutting machine or cleaning machine or welder uh, you you normally have many choices like uh, we, we, we the price is always related with the power so how to how to make the best choice I mean the cost uh, is the best and, and it's most suitable for your applications. Do you have any of these questions? Have you ever met this uh, help your customer to make decisions? Yes, I think uh, right now uh, in China market, um, uh, most people are using high power lasers, a uh, laser source and laser, laser cutting machines. But for, but for, for our foreigners in over, my, over sea market, we are highly recommend uh, one kilowatt to three kilowatt. Uh, this is a very costly physics for our customer. And also the good price right now is reaching the almost uh, very uh, bottom price right now. Yes, what you are talking about is cutting. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. For cutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's true. In China, they're mostly very high power for cutting. But for overseas markets, people are still buying one kilowatt for maximum three kilowatt or six kilowatt. Seldomly ten kilowatt, but mostly are less than six k. Do you know why? Yeah, uh, I think uh, maybe uh, because the different market uh, depends on the uh, like in China uh, the construction and the. the the inner demand is different, and we we can cut uh, even the competition is different. Uh, we we can use uh, this cutting machine for all day long, but in overseas market, many customers told me the the cut the cutting machine they only run like uh, maybe three hours a day. So the high laser cutting power is not uh, efficient for him. Yes, it's true. It's, uh, in China, the applications is uh, because it's very aggressive. Mm -hmm. People, they have a lot of cutting job to do and uh, they are very aggressive on taking high power to cut fast. Yeah. But in, in overseas markets, even in US or Europe, still there is a lot of space for plasma or people are still using plasma. Mm -hmm. And they, they are, when they're going to high powers, they step very slowly. So, so the, the point is, for today's topic, how to choose the right power range? First, you need to consider applications. Not only for uh, cutting, of course, for cutting is the power from one kilowatt to three kilowatts. For cleaning, we have power lasers from 100 watts to 500. Yeah. And for welding, we have um, from 1.5 mostly to 2 kilowatt and now even 3 kilowatt and for CW cleaning, the rust removal, we also, it's the same, similar to welding, so it's also from 1 kilowatt to 3 kilowatt. These are depend on, uh, on the speed or the welding thickness mm -hmm. that the customer wants to achieve. Take some tea. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Maybe, yes, I think, one important factor is the uh, price of the laser source, you know, Yes. Um, the laser source about three kilowatts, and uh, now the price for the laser is so high. So I think 
people they can't um, um, they will not choose because they think it's so, so high price that they can't give back their investment. So they just want to get the best investment for their mm -hmm. machine. So now I think the one kilowatts to three kilowatts now the price is just uh, uh, can be accepted by our customers. So they will choose mostly the for the single customer they will choose one kilowatts to three kilowatts. But for factories or like the large quality cutting machine, they they just have to do a lot of large uh, quantity um, the, the like the cutting work. So maybe they need to choose the, uh, for the uh, uh, 10 kilowatts or above. They'll be more efficient for them because they can cut thicker uh, plates. So I think the price is very important. Yeah. Yes, you're right. So always the price is a very important mm. factor yes. for an investment. Yes. So here comes the question. Yeah. So how to make the best investment? I mean, it's not that you buy the cheapest laser because you need to cut faster or you can, you can earn more by higher power. Mm. It doesn't mean that you buy the highest power or, yeah. the, you know, it's, it's not. So yeah. how to make the best investment? Uh, based on the applications. Here yeah. comes the question too. Uh, which laser source is the most um, cost effective? Here is the point that I want to talk today. Because yeah. uh, this is the, there are many times the people asking, I want to buy a one kilowatt single table cap machine or mm -hmm. 1.5 kilowatt. Or I want to buy a four kilowatt power exchange laser cap machine or eight kilowatt power exchange mm -hmm. kilowatt machine and I don't want to port because it's a wrong inquiry it's it's not reasonable yeah do you know why <laughs> yeah in this case I just don't want to quote because it's, it's not reasonable for me uh, if you ask this question yeah I, I would think that you don't know laser cutting or you are not a very familiar or expert because for uh, for a single table cutting machine one kilowatt, 1 1.5 uh, kilowatt prices are very, very close. Mm. The price difference for the laser source, maybe it's just a uh, few hundred dollars. Mm. So why yeah. consider one kilowatt? 1 1.5 kilowatt, you can cut much faster and you can cut thicker. Yeah, yeah. So it's nonsense because the price difference is so needle. Mm -hmm. And then if you ask a price for two kilowatt, again, two kilowatt is not popular. 1.5 and 3 kilowatt are yeah. most popular. Yeah. If you judge the price uh, by uh, every watt, I mean, the price you divide it by the price, for example, for 1.5k, how much is the price for the laser? It's uh, 4,500? 4,800. So 4,800 yeah. divided by 1,500. So you got like a... Uh, 30 dollars per watt. Oh. Right? Or three. Or three. Three, three not thirty. Three, three, three dollars per watt. Yeah. So every time you remember, uh -huh. you calculate by every watt. If you get the lowest price mm -hmm. of every single watt, mm -hmm. you get the best price for the laser. Oh, this is uh, a good suggestion. That's a giveaway. I just uh, yeah, yeah, the first time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So every time you by you, you get the because I'm doing this work because oh. I'm the purchaseman of this oh. company. So I bargain with Rekos, I bargain with Max, and I bargain with many suppliers. Mm -hmm. And when you go further, mm -hmm. why the price has difference on every single watt on different power level? I mean, if you divide it 3 kilowatts by the price of 3 kilowatts, you get different costs. Why? Why they have different costs on every single watt? Maybe it's uh, related with the manufacturing cost. Yes. Like factory. Sure. And the reason to 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 different the cost. One is the configuration of the laser, oh. right? Yes. For one point five kilowatt, it's a single module, and you have the, the pumping diode, and you have the high reflection, and you have uh, many other parts. Mm -hmm. For three kilowatt, it's the same. It's also a single module. For the dial pumping and uh, the configuration is similar. Uh, yes, I just saw the in my um, repair lab. They just the same, just one box. Yes. yes. So price should be just double, 
right? Mm -hmm. If 1.5 kilowatt is this price, or maybe 3 kilowatt is that price, but no. In laser industry, whenever you step to a power level of single module, you got the lowest cost for every single watt. Oh. Remember this, because their configuration is the same. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you have the cover, you have the circuit boards, yeah, yeah. you have many things, yeah. except the double pumping and uh, the resonator, the fiber lens, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe different. Well, different yeah. So, but others mm -hmm. are quite uh, similar. Mm -hmm. So for every single module, you go higher, you get lower cost. Oh. That's what laser companies are doing now. Yeah. So every company are declaring that I have single module 6 kilowatt, I have single module 12 kilowatt, like Max said. Mm -hmm. So if you go higher of the single module, means you lower the cost. Oh. But, and this is one reason, the other is the quantity. It, it's mm -hmm. always, you know, it's a, it, a it, how to say that, the, the margins is a, um, economic scale of margins oh. means every time you got quantity you get lower cost because yeah. you you can divide it more automatically or you have a higher turnover every hour to produce this it's like to buy it at a wholesale price yes. yes so whenever you want to get the best price of the laser source remember two mm -hmm. first you get um, the lowest the sing every single watt cost you can mm. do that, and you got um, every watt cost mm. very low. Second, you buy the most popular model. If you buy the most popular model, means that model is very economic oh. because because it's on promotion or because it's a large scale production, so the yeah. cost is lowest. So, so when you look back on twenty twenty one, which laser you think is the most uh, popular model? model. So, James, do you have any idea? I mean, China, um, maybe 1.5 kilowatts. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yes. for single oh, users, single users. But also many people, they will choose different, like uh, uh, 80, 000, 8, kilo, 8 kilowatts, you know, 8,000 kilowatts. Eight thousand is not economic. You know, you like it a lot. Why? Four, four, four and uh, <laughs> not. Yeah. Okay. Four kilowatt and uh, eight kilowatt is not popular. It's not popular. Yes. Yeah. It's a. Uh, you you didn't understand what I'm talking just now. Okay. If you know that, last year <coughs> the most popular or the best model to buy is one point five kilowatt and three kilowatt. Three kilowatt. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I just want to say that. <laughs> Why you said four kilowatts? <laughs> yes. As you, you will see that if you buy three kilowatts, of course, this is also on timing. I mean, it's changing. Yeah. Maybe in the beginning of the year, one kilowatt is still popular or still economic or things. But I mean, in the end of the year, 1.5 kilowatt with the price of like $4,500 or $4,800, it's a very good price for 1.5 kilowatt yeah. and 3 kilowatt also going down jumping very quickly yes, yes. and when you when you see the revenue i mean the profit the profit balance of every laser company mm -hmm. every laser company is making profits on high power and they are kind of losing money not losing money but it's very small margins on on low power so which means that you buy this power is you know they didn't make money from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know. It's like uh, when you uh, I, it's, it's like the point when when uh, like convenience store they when you said the small things like uh, uh, like uh, uh, like the I mean the the gun the chewing gun like mm -hmm. the small things this 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 things is doesn't make you more profit but but you which will maintain the customer to buying things. Mm -hmm. yes. I think that this one point uh, kilowatt and uh, one point five kilowatt. This is the good strategy to remind our customer to keep to working in the future. Um, but would you show me to Jerry? Would you show us so which uh, laser cutting uh, laser source in the future will be more popular? So very good question. Should we choose? I'm going to talk about this point three. As for especially for overseas market because for the markets we're mainly targeting overseas market so it's for people that who is doing this business or involved in this business 
I mean, as you have mentioned, the difference in overseas market, people, the power is starting from quite uh, low, uh, not like in China, we're going 20K, 30K, 40K, but in overseas markets, mainly under 6K, let's say, not many 8K or 10K or 12K. So based on a, on a conclusion we just came just now, in 2022, the single module 3 kilowatt and 6 kilowatt will become more stable and uh, lower cost. So 6 kilowatt and 12 kilowatt will be a very popular laser. Why? Because the price will go down again, very big, in a very, just imagine, maybe you cannot imagine now, Wow. Like a 12 kilowatt can go down the price to, I don't know, five dollars. I can only calculate it. Dollars. Dollars. Keep the secret. <laughs> that will be very low. But I. How you know, will it be? I I'm just uh, want to buy just. Uh, gems. So yeah. Do you, okay. Yes. I want yes to we can we can take a try. Yeah yeah yeah. We can take a you try. Can, we can guess how much it will be. Uh, the price now for 12k is about. Uh, I need a calculator. A calculator. Yeah, calculator. Um, because I it's about. It's uh, magic. Okay, okay. Yeah, because I always remember. Maybe. It's about. Uh, I, I think it's about five, 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 fifty, fifty, fifty thousand around. No, now it's uh forty thousand dollars for twelve k. Forty thousand right now. Yes. Really? Yes, forty thousand around. That. Some brands, not all the brands. Okay. Just make more expensive. Or forty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, around forty. Mm -hmm. So I, I think this is good news for you, James. I, I think you have uh, this is you have this some ask you the twelve, 12 kilowatts and laser source. Okay, so let's make a guess how low it can be. I think it will go less than thirty in really? this year. Yes, in this year. But less than thirty. Okay. Wow, that's that's really good news. I I I, I can't wait to tell my customer maybe. Yes. Uh, not now, because now we can go. <laughs> but no, I think uh, our customer, they can just make their business plan to get ready for that. And do you know why 12 kilowatts will be very popular? Will be very good? Uh, uh, because first you mentioned about the single module, because it's made uh, each 3 kilowatt. No, no, no. I mean, and this is what first point. Yes, the reason it's going to be cheap. Always because, you know, it's like, a, it's a very interesting game. You know, 12 kilowatt is a very useful kilowatt because it can be used for air cutting. If you, you not like me, I've been in this business for many years. Oh. The compressed air cutting is very important for uh, laser cutting. Yeah, because yeah. if you use six kilowatt, uh, the compressed air cutting is, can maximally go to four to six uh, millimeter MIC. And for the very shiny cutting, fast cutting, and especially with the uh, CypherCut 8000, mm -hmm. you've got many sensors from the cutting head. Oh, yes, yes. You can do many things on piercing, and you can cut really thick. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so 12 kilowatt is a very, very useful power yeah. for cutting. Mm -hmm. With this power, you can cut very fast on stainless steel, of course. Oh, because yeah. stainless steel, mm -hmm. always you have high power, higher power, higher speed. For my steel, sometimes you need to manage the heat because mm -hmm. the, if you don't manage the heat in the right way, you lose the piercing and doesn't mean you go faster. Mm -hmm. But with the new cutting head technology, this all has been uh, solved. So 12 kilowatt power is a very useful power, especially when the price is going down. I mean, if the price is very high, mm -hmm. even if it's very good, you don't want to use it because yeah. you take very long time to get investment back. Yeah. But when this tool is going to be very cheap, yeah. and everybody will take it, like the car, you know, uh, the new Tesla came out, even if very good, saving oil and petrol, but you don't want to drive it because it's very expensive. Because yeah. uh, refilling of the electricity is very slow, or you know, there's just many problems. But, I do agree. but yeah. if the car goes like you know, very good price, and the manufacturer doesn't make money on this, and just benefiting your life, it's just just take it. There's right. no reason to to yeah. hesitate. So this is one reason. If the 12 kilo, and I'm sure mm -hmm. today is the first uh, video of yeah, our yeah. Yes. year. Uh -huh. I'm sure in the end of this year, yeah. this laser will going to under the price that I'm previewing now. 
So with that price, you just take it. And with that price, we build a very robust machine for you. Yeah. Because for 12 kilowatt cutting machine, you need heat protection, and you need to go really fast, because yes. you can cut fast. So yeah. you need the good gears and uh, uh, reducers and uh, rapid heating, so you, you just, you know, just a very decent machine. Yeah. Yeah. With um, the right acceleration, yeah. with the heat protection, with the, the right configuration, yeah. uh, side cut control and side cut cutting head, the complete machine will be the price around, hmm, better not fucking clear, but will be very, very surprising. Mm -hmm. So okay. this machine will be, will be a very secret weapon for you. Uh, yes, secret weapon, secret uh, weapon. Yes. yes. This is the one, uh, the power, and the second is the six kilowatt. Six kilowatt. Because six kilowatts, up to now, maybe IBG is using single module for six kilowatt, but the price is still very high. Uh, it's, I mean, it's double, more than double of Rekos. Mm -hmm. So Rekos is still using two modules, mm -hmm. two three kilo modules to get three kilo, uh, six kilo. Six kilo. Yeah. But still the price is very, uh, I mean, six kilo price is also very good mm -hmm. if you get uh, every single watt. Mm -hmm. uh, the cost is, is also mm -hmm. very economic because it's very popular. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah. because uh, if you don't use high power cutting, six kilowatt, can satisfy all the cuttings. Yeah. I mean, cutting up to 25 millimeter massive mm -hmm. and stainless steel 12 to 15. Mm -hmm. So, 6 kilowatt is a very popular and yes. going to be even more popular. Yes. So, in 2022, actually, you will sell mainly, I mean, four to five models of machine. First, a single table, mm -hmm. 1.5 to 3K. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And second is a tile exchange mm -hmm. uh, with six kilowatt mm -hmm. and then 12 kilowatt. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the big table. Yeah. Remember the big table. Longer yeah. gantry. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And the, the Later, five meters, yeah. three meters, mm -hmm. and uh, eight meters oh, long eight and meters 12 long. meters long. Yeah. The, 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 Even 40 meters long? Yes. In limited. Yes. Unlimited. Yeah. Unlimited. So with the uh, 12 kilowatt or even yeah. higher power, you go like you substitute the plasma job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th th this is going to be popular, and uh, you know when you when you are buying, maybe not you, your customers. Yeah. If whenever a customer came to you said, "I'm I'm going to buy laser source, I'm going to buy a laser cutting machine," you need to remember you have to help him to make the choice that facing the future, because. All the decisions you make today is according to the prices that are on the table today. But they will change really fast, you know, in one month or in like uh, two weeks and uh, the price dropping down a lot dramatically. So you will think, that, oh, what you have chosen? Um, and you need to make, a, you know, yeah. uh, this kind of plan that can suit all the changes in the future or yeah. in the next I mean, half year or yeah. one year. This is a very high vision. Wow. Mm. So, if uh, next time we talk about uh, the uh, laser cutting machine, I will ask a question for um, maybe for our next topic. Um, What's your next topic? Many cus yeah, so many customers, uh, they are even like, uh, especially in um, European countries, they are more tend to buy uh, like uh, IPG laser source, but as the Chinese laser source and the, the supply uh, supply chain is, uh, uh, is is changing, and the price is producing, I I do you think this is the right choice to um, get the European some high um, high quality customer to change their direction to buy the Chinese laser source? Uh, I don't think it's a matter of right or wrong. No matter which decision you make, it's a, you know, if the customer can afford, and uh, it's never right or wrong question. It's a, you know, you offer to the customer based on the customer's budget and the customer's preference. Mm -hmm. You know, they have this money and they want better products, why not? IBG is the best choice, they are the best laser. So, and IBG has a global service networking, so you will have good service on your, so this is also good. 
the Chinese lasers, they are much cheaper, but uh, it's hard to repair. Even we're building the repairing labs networking now, but doesn't mean that you will get the very instant service in Europe or in US or you know other small countries. Of course, that's a, that's a, that's a, you know, if, if you, you, for customer, what he preferred is most important. You cannot make decision for him, a, but for in the, in the view of business, if you are a dealer or if you are a machine tool dealer in Europe, I mean, that's, that's the future. Chinese lasers will go more because uh, not only just cheap, but because we have quantity, we have made in such a big quantity that make the cost low. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, for the end users, cost is always the most important. And the, the service center will come up very soon in one year. Everybody will buy splicing machine cleaver and uh, they will get parts trained. So lasers will get the same service. I mean, if you're doing this business for the future, mm -hmm. uh, better. It's not a right or wrong, but uh, that's facing in the long run. It's better to choose Chinese lasers. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing the thoughts. Yes, and uh, <coughs> I just uh, recently had one customer, they just uh, want to update their old machine, like the CO2, you know, mm -hmm. CO2 kind of machine, and then they asked me for the wise. So, uh, like uh, old machine, the CO2, and can they just update here their other machine to uh, the fiber laser machine? Do you, Jerry, do you have any advice? For oh, the retrofitting from steel to, to fiber, yeah, I yeah. made a video yeah. Yo. last year. Right? Oh, okay, okay. You can take a look. Yes, yes. And uh, it depends on which brand, because for the steel to lasers, they have different control. Yeah. For Amana or for Tron, for Fastronics, yeah, yeah. and uh, if you want to take off the old control or you want to keep them, and if you keep them how to debugging with lasers and cutting head or focusing and uh, those are points in the last video yeah, which yeah, refer yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, today I, I've seen um, Angel's, he, his customer shared uh, a model retrofitting CO2 to the fiber laser source, fiber yeah. laser cutting. Yes. It's quite good, I think. Yes, a lot of very good machines. How about this team? I, I enjoy it a lot, but it, actually, you know, I, I even enjoy your talking, so... <laughs> this is not very good tea. Yeah. It's uh, Chinese uh, black tea, yes? Chinese black tea. Yeah. No, it's... Uh, it's red tea? Or no, 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 no. It's red tea. Red tea, okay. okay. Red tea. Red tea. Red tea. Red tea. I, I think that... Eh? Really? Yes. Red tea is not called black tea? Okay. <laughs> 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 it's not really confusing, but okay. not really good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for joining, and thank you. We're going to next talk. See you next topic. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you, Jen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will pass it to our customer. Bye bye.